Now that we've kind of gone over the general approach to the initially charged circuit analysis, let's start by doing an example that looks very similar to the one that we were using to come up with the general formulation, but actually solve it with real numbers so that we can get a taste for how this analysis actually works. So we'll have a 20 volt generator, 75 ohm impedance, and then at t equals zero, it's going to disconnect from the power supply and connect to a 25 ohm resistor. And then all that goes into this transmission line here. Z naught is 50 ohms. And then we'll have a 25 ohm load on the load side. All right, so uh, same thing. We're going to say that everything was initially charged in its steady state all the way up until t equals zero, and then we flip the switch down to that resistor, and we want to find the the bounce diagram for t going from zero all the way to four t. Right now. To start out, the first two steps for this one, while we're getting warmed up, we'll try to do both the Thevenin circuit analysis approach as well as the reflection coefficient analysis approach. But in either case, the first two steps are the same. So let's work through them. So the first step is to find the steady state solutions and the reflection coefficients. So VSS, ISS, and then gamma G of T less than zero and gamma g, uh, gamma l of t less than zero. So we want four things. Let's start by drawing what the circuit looks like before we flip the switch. So we have our 20 volt generator going across this 75 ohm resistor and then this 25 ohm load. And this is our VSS here, is the load voltage. So in this case, VSS is simply the voltage divider between these two resistors. So 20 volts divided by 25 over 25 plus 75, which is going to give us five volts. So that's going to be equal to VN, which is equal to VL. The voltages on both sides, uh, VN and VL, they're both the same because everything's at steady state. And ISS is simply the VSS divided by 25. So VSS divided by RL, which is going to be five volts divided by 25, so 0.2 amps. All right, now the next step, oh, and also we have to find the reflection coefficients. So on the generator side, T less than zero, we're going to have 75 minus 25, over, oops. We also fi have to find the reflection coefficient on the, before the switch is flipped. So on the generator side, gamma G of T less than zero is going to be 75 minus 50, new minus old, over new plus old, which is going to be 0 0.2 and gamma L of T less than zero is going to be new minus old, so 25 minus 50 over 25 plus 50, which is going to be minus one third. So here we have one, two, three, the four numbers that we need to finish step one. And the next step, which we do, regardless of whether we're doing the Thevenin circuit analysis approach or the reflection coefficient approach is that we want to find decompose VSS into VSS plus and VSS minus. So we do that by, I'm just gonna skip straight to the two equations and two unknowns that we reorganized it into. So we have VSS plus plus VSS minus, the sum of the two is going to be equal to VSS. And the difference between the two is going to be equal to ISS times Z naught which is equal to 10 volts. 
So using this, we can, if we call this equation one and equation two, by adding the two equations together, we can find that VSS is going to be equal to, or actually I should write down VSS over in this case is five volts. So VSS is going to be equal to, or two VSS plus is going to be equal to 15 volts, so VSS is going to be equal to 7.5 volts. And similarly, if we take the difference, we'll find that VSS minus, so you'll get two VSS minus is going to be equal to five minus 10 is negative five volts. So VSS minus is going to be equal to minus 2.5 volts. So that gives us the two pieces of information we need to complete step two. Now let's, in this case, let's start out, we'll do both approaches, but let's start out by doing the Thevenin equivalent approach. So for step three, in the Thevenin approach, we draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. So in this case, we have the negative wave coming out. So we will model that with a generator that's equal to two VSS minus, which is equal to minus five volts. And then that is going to have an equivalent source impedance of 50 ohms, transmission line value. And then once we flip the switch, this is connected to a 25 ohm resistor. And so that is going to give us the new voltage at the junction. So since we're on the left side, we're going to call this V in. And if it's on the load side, I uh, will call this V load. But, so this is V in at T greater or equal to zero, or T equals zero plus, right? right as we flip the switch. So then using this circuit can draw that, we can figure out that V in at T equals zero plus is going to be this voltage divider. So minus five, 25 over 25 plus 50, it's gonna be minus 1.667 volts. And so the newly formed wave so the new wave at t equals zero is going to be the voltage at t equals zero plus, so this minus 1.667, minus the voltage that it was right before, which is going to be equal to VSS. So you know, right before you flip the switch, the value is VSS, which is going to be minus 1.667 minus five, which is going to be equal to minus 6.667. And then step five, so this is gonna be the value of the new wave going in. The other thing that we need to know to draw the bounce diagram is to find the new reflection coefficient. So the new reflection coefficient after t equals zero, now it's connected to 25 ohms instead of the 75 ohms, so it's gonna be 25 minus 50 over 25 plus 50. So once you flip the switch, the reflection coefficient on the left-hand side is now minus a third. So I'm gonna, let's draw the, the bounce diagram really quickly. Uh, the, when we do the other approach, you should get the same result. So this, this illustration should work for both cases. But let's just draw, so we have minus a third on this side and we also have minus a third on this side. And we know that the new wave coming out is gonna be minus 6.667, right? So now let's take a look at the reflection coefficient analysis approach. For the reflection coefficient analysis approach, so now we're gonna do the reflection approach coefficient analysis approach, we're going to look at, instead of the voltage at the junction, we're going to look at what I was calling VSS smiley face. So smiley face is the direction that's coming out. So, or smiley face is the direction that's going in.
And so, which I would, so in this approach, we're looking at the change as opposed to the voltage in the junction we're looking at the voltage of the steady state voltage that's the change in the steady state voltage component that's going in or in the previous lecture I was referring to this as VSS smiley face so in this case we're on the generator side so VSS smiley face is referring to VSS plus and what I was calling VSS frowny face is going to be referring to VSS minus. So our third step is we look at the reflection on the left side, the side in question, after it changes. So after you flip the switch, it's now connected to the 25 ohm resistor. So gamma G is going to be equal to 25 minus 50 over 25 plus 50, which is going to be minus a third. This is the same thing that we calculated before over here. And then step four is we need to calculate VSS plus T less than zero before and after the switch. So before the switch, we had 7.5 volts, which we had found before earlier. And then after we flip the switch, we're going to have the any voltage source that's around. In this case, there is no voltage source. So we're going to have 0 plus the reflection coefficient at t greater than or equal to 0, which is going to be minus a third, times VSS minus, so, or VSS frowning face in this case. So that's going to be 0 plus negative a third times VSS minus minus 2.5 so that's going to give us 0 0.883 volts and so the newly launched wave will be the chain will be the difference between these two so V nu is going to be equal to VSS plus at T greater than or equal to 0 minus VSS plus at t less than 0, which is 0 0.883 minus 7.5. And that is how we get minus 6.667 volts. So the same result is what we have over here. And so now, in either case, you in either approach, you end up with these key parameters here. You have a minus 6.667 wave going in. You have these two reflection coefficients. In this case, they're both minus a third. And so you just have to draw the bounce diagram again and do that analysis. But one key difference is that now, since your starting point is no longer, is no longer uh, zero volts because everything was initially charged, right? So one key thing to remember is that before in this slice, this used to be zero. What is it now? That's right. At t equals zero, the voltage over here was five volts everywhere, right? It was a steady state voltage. So we actually have five volts over here. And then we have this minus 6.667 volt going across. And so then we proceed along how we usually calculate this. So this times minus a third gives you plus 2.22. And then you bounce this way times you multiply it by minus a third again, you get minus 0 0.741. You have another reflection of 0 0.247. And so the process is the same as what should hopefully be a little bit familiar, except your starting point was no longer, is, isn't 0 volts, it's now 5 volts. But you still do the same when you cross over. Here, you subtract minus 0.667, so you get minus 1.667. And then when you cross over here, you add 2.22, so you get 0 0.556. And then when you cross over here, you subtract minus 0 0.741, so you get negative 0 
and so on and so forth. So once you find these new, new uh, coefficients and know what the starting voltage is and know what the newly propagated wave is, the rest uh, goes just like how you would do a regular analysis of a bounce diagram with initially uncharged lines. So really the key thing is just keeping your head straight, figuring out what the new voltage that pops out is, as well as updating your reflection coefficients, and then just redoing what you know how to do so well.